the thighs ring in. Okay, guys. I'm going to the grocery store. It's Sunday. 2.10. This weekend's kind of being like... Meh. I don't know why, really. So, first of all, I have got a camera mount on here. <laughs> I ordered it from Amazon. This is the first time I've tried to use it, so I just kind of wanted to check it out. I don't know how wobbly it's going to be or what it's going to look like, so we'll see. It's sprinkling right now. Go to the store and get wet. Awesome. Okay, so like I was saying this weekend, yesterday on Saturday, it was such a weird day for some reason. I did not do anything. I don't know why. It was just kind of, it got started off to a weird start or something. And I just, I ended up kind of piddling most of the day and didn't get anything done. It was not productive at all. And my husband has been building a deck. He's started working on that. I had to run the loads for him to get some uh, nails to go do that and then my girlfriend had a party at her house a clothes party and I got this top so I went to that at like three and we ended up just hanging out the rest of the night so that was my day yesterday now today I have done chores and I just filmed a eyebrow tutorial and the mic was not on, so that did not record. So that was a waste of time. And then, after that, I just got done filming a collective haul. Maybe that turned out okay, I have no idea. And now I'm headed to the stove. I feel like this is crazy. there's something about Walmart, their beauty section, I cannot, I, when I go into Walmart, I have to go over there and look at stuff, there's just something about it, and at Kroger, uh, that just does not happen to me, like, I can walk right by their beauty section, because it's smaller, I guess, so I don't spend, you know, $30 on crap that's not like food that I don't need. what we're doing and another reason I wanted to well, I wanted to check out the camera mount and I also wanted to kind of show you guys some food prep that I do to kind of help me throughout the week it's really not even food prep it's like snack prep so I thought this would be a good opportunity to do that and yeah so hopefully this turns out okay I go to the grocery store, I buy the same dang thing every week, basically. But the past few weeks I've done pretty good about trying to mix it up with the recipes and stuff. But, like last week I just went back to doing the same old stuff. But, I try and eat healthy as I can for most people, but... Hard to do all the time. But prepping your stuff, like hopefully I'll show you here in a little while, it really helps you to make better decisions and you just have something right there to eat healthy. So, and I saw this recipe on 
it's not on Pinterest or Facebook. It's I've been really liking to eat avocados lately. I'm not a big fan of guacamole because of the onions. I don't like raw onions. But I really like guacamole not avocados. <laughs> and I saw the recipe where you do an avocado, a cucumber, and a tomato and red onion. I wouldn't do the red onion though. And you put some olive oil on it and salt and pepper and lemon. And it's kind of like a salad. I might try and make that tonight with because um, what we're having is like kind of Mexican ish. I might try and make that tonight, so I'll get the stuff to make that, maybe. Or make it in the week sometime. Okay, so that was fun. It's like 20 degrees colder in Kroger than, or probably in any grocery store, I guess. It freezes me to death in there. So I'm like on a mission when I get in there. But anyways, the rain held out. It's not it's pretty clear now but anyways heading to the house the avocados that I bought this was a terrible time of day to go because everything was cleaned out pretty much I had to get a different bag of spinach than I usually get and the avocados are super soft so I'm going to have to cut those up when I get home which is okay I guess so hopefully those are okay but I try and go on Saturdays now because I feel like on Sundays is when everybody goes and they get cleaned out of stuff but it's just like like I said yesterday was kind of like a waste of a day but I got it done show y'all what I've been doing for the past couple of weeks just as far as getting a few things ready for the week and prep so I can have some healthy healthier choices to make so one big thing is eating more vegetables so I have just been making a few salads ahead of time for the week and I have been using spinach instead of just lettuce because in spinach you're actually getting some vitamins and stuff so I uh, just take my I take the stems off it's just a personal thing for me and do whatever Okay, I cut up some carrots and some green peppers and I'm just adding those in. This is typically what I've been doing, this combo. But you, of course, just do whatever vegetables that you like and uh, just mix it up however you want to do it. And typically, if I want to do cheese, I'll add that on the morning of. I don't let that sit overnight, but that's just me. You can do whatever. And something else I really like to add is some walnuts. I have this bag here. Um, you can do whatever nuts you want to do. Almonds are good. But this just adds something, um, some good healthy nuts to the salad. And I think the walnuts just make it personally. I love walnuts. So there's that. And what I also do is I go ahead and I do my salad dressing in little containers too so they're ready. So typically what I've been doing is quit. I've typically just been doing three but because I don't do one like every single day but for fine for me three is good. So there's our salads all ready to go for the week. And now I'm going to do some frozen, I'm going to cut up some bananas for smoothies. Okay, for smoothies I have been doing some frozen bananas. 
Now smoothies for me, it's a good if I'm if I don't want to have like breakfast breakfast, I can have one of these for breakfast or typically what I do is just have this for a snack, maybe before I go work out or something like that. But a frozen banana in a smoothie makes all the difference to me. So I just chop it up. I have these little Ziploc bags. I still have a few left in the freezer from last week that I didn't use. And I just stick them in here and just throw it in the freezer. Now my smoothie recipe is just the standard. I do milk, frozen banana, peanut butter, and chocolate protein powder. And that is like just your standard peanut butter, chocolate banana smoothie you know and you could also add some of that spinach to that if you wanted to that's another great way to add in some vegetables because in the in the um, smoothie you can't taste the spinach it just gives you your um, serving of vegetables which is great so I cut those up and I also have some strawberries here this week that I'm going to cut those up as well and I can freeze some of those too to put in smoothies Okay, so I've got my bananas, my strawberries cut up, and I'm going to put them in the freezer. And also I wanted to show you guys the bars that I have been buying for the past month or so. It's the Laura bars, and these are the flavors that I have been enjoying. Okay, now these, I'm not like a protein bar girl. I don't buy these type of things for protein. It's just for a snack, usually around 10 o'clock after... Because I eat breakfast at like 7.30 and then I go to work at 8. And then around 10, 10.30 or something like that. If I want a snack, I'll typically eat one of these. And the banana, the banana bread, mocha chip, chocolate chip brownie, and the peanut butter cookie. Those are some of my favorites. I have been buying those and really liking those lately. And the dressing I've been eating this um, week for the past few weeks is just the Italian now if I want ranch I'll eat ranch I'm not like a big I'm not I don't try and really watch the dressings because I just eat a very small amount of the dressing so to me it's not a big deal if I want to eat something like ranch I'll just do that but whatever and also I just cut up some lemons and limes just to have quick access to those for like water and stuff like that so I can have my lemon water or whatever and I just bought this for the first time today and they, this is the skinny pop and it's the white cheddar they had several several different flavors but I decided on this one and it's pretty good so I'll probably take that to work with me this week or just have it here at the house to snack on and also I wanted to quickly show you what I'm cooking for dinner tonight this is I don't really know the name of it it's just like taco soup kind of chicken taco something anyways got it in a crock pot here it's chicken breast a pack of taco seasoning about a cup of water a can of rotel and a can of green chilies and then whenever there's like an hour or so left on that i will add in i will wash some black beans and i will drain some corn and i'll add that in here too and that is super good i've had that a lot it's super easy quick and easy healthy and you can eat that with chips and salsa or i'll probably do some spinach and cook some rice and have it over that it's super good and yeah really as far as just prepping a few things so i can have some healthy choices and to all, if you're wanting to make healthier choices, a big part of it is just having it right there handy and having it already ready for you. Even if you're a stay-at-home mom and you want to eat healthier, just like prepping your salad, something like that, so that you can just grab it. I know if you have kids running around, you don't have time to sit there and make a salad or make a chop up stuff for a smoothie or whatever, something like that. So I hope this was helpful. Just some basic tips 
to help you make healthier choices and oh I know what I was gonna say um food prep it can be as big or as small as you want it to be you know I see some stuff on Instagram like if you're more serious about if you have a lot of weight to lose or if you're trying to build a lot of muscle or something like that you know you can prep out almost every single meal um, during your day but for me I just do it really just more simple and basic and having the crock pot that's really helpful if you work like we do we get home late so having the crock pot is super awesome I can throw something in there in the mornings and also something else I do is I get my apples that's another quick little thing I can throw in my lunchbox for the day or whatever but anyways I'm just going to end this here and I hope this was helpful for you guys and if you have any questions let me know and I will see y'all in the next one bye guys thank you for watching